Hey guys, Grim here with a guide slash walkthrough on the dungeon The Night Spire and Tropic Descent. We're doing this with four of our guys and one pug. Uh, I'm just gonna be commenting on this run, not gonna show the full trash because I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're only gonna show the um, one uh, trash skip before the last boss and the bosses themselves. So the first boss, uh, the battle takes place at the platform, so be sure not to fall down because you won't be able to rejoin the fight. Uh, the boss is the standard demon every 75, uh, every 25, excuse me, percent, so it's 75, 50 and 25 percent. There will be a phase where he'll be teleporting in center, uh, turn you into stone and the minigame will appear. Now it's very important you don't, uh, you need to not go all the way to the end of the line right away. You just need to pause right at the very end, like one or two ticks before, and wait uh, for the last pulse. He's doing the ability with like pulses six times with fire, uh, and the last pulse is like three seconds before the end of the timeline. So you need to go there and just wait. And after the last pulse, you uh, click and get out. If you fail to do that, you will be stunned, obviously, and you risk dying. So other than that, it's pretty much the standard demon. He teleports around, smashes things, uses fire uh, a lot. So just avoid that. Uh, another noticeable ability is when he jumps up, uh, a bunch of uh, stones will fall from the ceiling, but it's well telegraphed, just watch your feet. Uh, when he jumps, you will see that it telegraphs on the floor, and you can get out. Uh, when you have uh, a flame skull on you, this means you will be spawning uh, the fire, so be sure to just uh, place it in a convenient locations. But again, don't fall down from the platform because that will be GG for you. That's pretty much it for this fight. It goes cir in circles. Just avoid things and uh, try to survive. Basically, after the last um, on the last phase. When he reaches 25%, he changes his patterns a, uh, a little bit. So he starts to teleport to people more and uh, placing them in me, placing everybody in minigame, like you can see now. Uh, this is, but this is actually 25% phase. So uh, you have to differ one from another, but then, like, for example, this. Like he just stunned uh, our crusader, and in in this case, you don't need to wait uh, for uh, for anything. You just need to get out as as quickly as possible uh, and uh, dodge his attack because he hits very hard and uh, on hits uh, with a big range. So on the last phase, just be sure to after twenty five percent, if you get stunned. Uh, this means like you need to get out ASAP. Second boss uh, is twins. So it's in essence uh, boss from time to time splits into two guys. And again, the, the fight is circular. You start like fighting one guy uh, who basically just runs around. Uh, when you're briefly stunned and you can see a skull on you, this means uh, boss will pop on you the next time. So after a while, boss will split into two bosses, and uh, we're gonna actually see it. I think now, yeah, it's, it says it's splitting. When they're splitting or when they merge in, do not stand near them uh, because there's an area of effect. Uh, so when they split, the there is one guy, he starts casting those circles and the other guy, he's just spinning around and like trying to hack people. He turn, 
he chooses the target goes to that target and like sucks the life out of out of him so you need to dodge that very quickly or you'll be dead in like two seconds so uh, also one important thing that uh, you cannot just tunnel one guy if you try to tunnel one guy uh, he will then activate well he will activate the shield in any way so you, you like you you hit one guy he will activate the shield you need to switch to the other guy uh, so that's going in circles he will then they will then merge into one guy again so the the first phase starts uh, he will be teleporting around spinning around throwing like some balls um, and then again split and the second fa phase repeats itself so it's all the same just repeat just dodge uh, dodge abilities basically this fight uh, just you just need uh, to pay attention to things like who's got the shield uh, where is the boss uh, just avoid circles and you'll be fine So now how to skip the trash before the last boss. Basically all you need to do is you run through, try to not get stunned, and any person in your party needs to um, to activate two levers. The, uh, these are the first gates, so the first lever is already activated, and then the second lever is on those gates. And then you can just die or it's better wait uh, for when um, for, for when the soul pyre will appear and um, the soul if you activated boss levers the soul pyre will appear see it appears and now you can resurrect at this soul pyre and just go straight to the boss This boss is very Pagan friendly. Uh, the run that I'm showing you had a really, really sloppy kill. Like it's very sloppy because we haven't done this dungeon in a while. We didn't actually know uh, how our damage gonna scale. So basically this uh, boss has two phases. The phase number one, he just uh, goes around trying to hit people if people got hit not by this ability this is just spinning around doing damage but if you get hit by her this ability for example as you can see now our crusader is red um, people get mind controlled so you cannot do that you cannot be hit by her ability absolutely you, you need to avoid there are two abilities it's just frontal whip and then she's doing like she's uh spin not spins but like spin the whip around uh and then and then hits so she hits in 360 degrees uh you cannot get hit by that as well 
So she also does some other abilities like she did now. Uh, I'm gonna tension it the next time she did it, she does it. Uh, she basically just pulls everybody to her. There is a mini game and then you need to jump uh, jump around. So now let's now we're looking at the, at the second phase. So th this is transitionary phase. Basically everybody is hostile at this phase. So you need to do a lot of damage to each other but not kill each other. And as you can see, some unlucky crit can like really, uh, really kill other people. So it's very important, it's very important uh, so that everybody is at full health. There is also another uh, point, there is also another important point here. As you can see, I got like 23 stacks. These are minus heal stacks. And these come from, if you, the longer it takes you to basically get everybody, uh, knock everybody out of this phase, the more stacks you get. So this means that it's in your best interest to, um, to do it as fast as possible with a very, uh, with a very few stacks. But uh, again, we're not doing this in this round. We're not uh, really doing this um, well, like we're doing too much damage to each other. We're not being at full health, etc. What we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's just see through the fight. And we're not doing too much damage to her, which is uh, surprising because uh, boss doesn't have uh, too much. Like she's, she's pretty, she's pretty low on health. That's another transitionary phase. As you, as you can see, it takes some time. It takes some time. So now, yeah, so the way we usually do that, uh, we got one Zerker, one Priest, two Mages, and one Archer now set up, one Ranger. So the way we usually do it, uh, we get into one place. It doesn't matter where you go as long as like everybody's standing there. One of the Mages uh, knock everybody out with Blizzard and uh, whatever is the Cold Snap or no Ice Nova, something like that. I don't know the, the names of Mages. And then uh, the pre, and then when there's one guy who knocked everybody out, uh, priest, uh, me, I'm just knocking him out very fast with retribution. It usually takes three ticks. Uh, well, it depends on your damage, right? So if you have low damage, it will take like four ticks of retribution uh, to get from full health. That was close. That was very close. Uh, and sometimes if it creates, but if it creates, you like um, risking uh, to kill your guy. So if you're not uh, too sure about this, the best uh, course of action would be uh, do like one ability, for example. It doesn't matter who, who who's doing that. It's just whoever can do it faster, it, it, this would be better. As you can see now, uh, the mage, he doesn't have, who's knocking them, uh, us out, he doesn't have full HP. So if I try to knock him out right away, I would s straight up kill him because you need, uh, you need like 70% of your HP or above. And even then, even then, as you can see, he got like 80% and I, we still cannot uh, knock him out for whatever reason. It's around 70% though. So you need, well, that was my mistake. I turned the boss around. And so one of our guys uh, is mind controlled again. At this point, we, we were battling the boss with like four people already for several minutes. As I said, this is really, really sloppy. We get 
close to 200 stacks uh, and just we're just trying to finish this basically we made like tons of mistakes and uh, after that i'm gonna show you how this uh, boss went when we were five people with a full team and uh, when we did transition raid so let's see how this went as you can see bosses is nearing the berserk uh, her berserk is not the deadliest like you can you can battle her in berserk but you will need to eliminate uh, the AOEs if, if you got uh, if you got melee like this is the problem because you cannot use any AOEs basically everybody will be hostile on uh, during her berserk everybody will be hostile so anything that has any AOE effect, multi-target effect, you will basically kill each other. But if you cannot single target, this is not the end of the world. If she's in Berserk and you got like 10-15% to go, uh, you can do it. As you can see, there's another time I killed one of my guys just because I don't know how much damage I'm actually doing to him. She's, she's gone berserk and now she's actually doing the transition where everybody will go red but we killed her before that and now let's see uh, the clear execution of this uh, of this phase and of this fight it's not uh, entirely clear I think we did some mistakes at the end but uh, first of all as you can see we're doing a lot more damage like and not running around too much doing enough damage um, especially there's also some RNG where like she spins around or she stands in place or who she decides to attack etc etc but the main point is how uh, how clear can you go through transition phase that's the main point so first of all nobody should ever get mind controlled outside of transition phase that's the first point and the second point how clear how clear can you get through transition phase without like killing anybody right so this can be uh, basically transition phase can be done in any really in any a combination of like who's gonna who's gonna knock out who you can basically if you get Zerker for example Zerker can spin around and knock everybody out so it's up to you it's really up to you but your goal is to quickly knock everybody out and then somebody else knock out the guy who is um, who is knocking everybody else now there is one more important thing to note the guy who knocks everybody out, he doesn't know when they are being knocked out. This means they stay red. If you knock everybody out right at the beginning, they stay red until the end, until you get knocked out and you get knocked out last. So until, until that time, you don't actually see who's out already. Like if, if you see in my footage, I, I'm, I see who's out. I see that he knocked them out, but he himself doesn't see that. So it's very important that everybody who gets knocked out, uh, like runs out of that position where the damage is distributed or like call it in voice or so, somehow else if you pug in, that's what makes this boss like so difficult in pug because you need to pre-arrange things like who's gonna do what if you just go at it without any communication most likely this is gonna be fail so that's it for me thank you for watching and i'll see you next time